Imagine we could give people the experience of space travel without having to shoot them up with rockets. Right now in the iSpace lab, we are researching how to do this best using virtual reality. So immersive virtual reality where we can simulate what people see, what they hear, what they sense. And the goal of this project is to try to give people a glimpse of the experience that many astronauts had when they went out in space. We went to the moon as technicians, we returned as humanitarians. They somehow came back transformed, inspired, changed. Many of them experienced a cognitive shift. So they started to realize how fragile, how connected and worth protecting our planet is. And once they came back to Earth, they started to caring more about the planet. For this project, we use immersive virtual reality as a tool to give people an embodied experience of what it would be like to be an astronaut. So to tackle this project, we bring together people from different backgrounds, ranging from psychology, cognitive science, computer science, user experience design, even meditation and biofeedback. Because I, I think we really need all these different approaches to be able to really design for such an experience. But on Earth, obviously, we cannot simulate weightlessness. So we really need to understand, well, what factors really contribute to this experience, how it happens, and in what conditions, and in what moments, and what state were the astronauts in before they perceived or experienced this cognitive shift that is known as the overview effect. We combine virtual reality footage, so a complete 3D simulation of Earth, of the atmosphere, how it looks like to go up there. We also develop our own interface, especially in terms of giving people the sensation of really moving through and being in an immersive uh, virtual environment. So we can give people the sensation of not exactly weightlessness, but also some of that experience of being untethered and doing a spacewalk where you can really glide through space very slowly, very smoothly. Many of the astronauts and cosmonauts also experienced awe. So this very particular sensation that is also researched in the literature. So by looking at comparable experiences on Earth that have been researched a lot, this can help to guide our process of developing for virtual reality and using this medium where there aren't really that many design guidelines yet on how to design for this. So the actual experience of being shot up with a rocket as an astronaut or cosmonaut where literally tons of fuel is burned very quickly. So it's loud, it's frightening, it's shaking. But once these thrusters are released from the spaceship, then suddenly becomes a lot more quiet. And it's so quiet, you might hear your own breathing, you might hear your own heartbeat even. So it's, it's a very interesting experience that you just cannot really have here on Earth. This will be a long-term research project. We don't expect that immediately within half a year we'll have a solution. But by doing iterative research, development, design inspiration, we can get closer to giving people more and more of this glimpse of being out there and get closer to our ultimate goal of really giving people such an overview effect here on Earth without having to fly out into space. So of course a lot of people would like to physically fly into space, but we believe it's just a lot more realistic and sustainable to really use virtual reality because there we can read, reach a lot more people at a much lower cost and of course a much lower carbon footprint.